Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. So in my most recent video, the Ultimate Weapons Rack Guide Part 1, I briefly showed how the STV could be used as a real gun carrier and I assume that everybody by now know how to do that. But some viewers still ask me how exactly can you do that? So I am now making a very short video to show you how exactly the STV can carry six weapons total, including two real guns. Okay, so this is our STV. And uh, as you can see, I already put two size one weapons on each side of the weapons rack. And uh, I've showed this in my previous video. You can only put size one weapon on these two weapons rack. So where do we put the other four weapons, including the real gun? We will put them here. There is a button down here. If you click it, you have two slots, which you can put core armor here. What I'm going to do is I am going to equip myself with one core armor. And you can also use this little trick, item port helpers. So be sure to fill out all your item port because they will be saved together with the vehicle loadout. Put one real gun here and one P6LR and... Put uh, grenades, four grenades here. I'm also going to equip real gun ammo. And now you have to drop this arm. You have to take the risk. Be aware that when the server is pretty bad, when you drop the ammo, I mean, when you drop the armor, sometimes it will disappear or you cannot pick it up again. So it happens a lot for me as well. So we have to run that risk. And then you simply grab it and place it over here. There we go. So that's one at 55 ammo. That's it. I filled all the weapons port, all the item port for this core armor. And I am dropping it. And then pick it up. Put it here. There we go. Over here. Now go back in to your ASOP. Also, I've seen a comment asking me, how do you save the weapons loadout on your Ursa rover? This is exactly the same. For your ships, for your vehicle, this is how you save Welcome. your loadout. So store this STV and then go to your vehicle loadout manager. If you have different STVs, be sure to put different uh, paint on it so you know exactly which one. So this one is not the correct one. So we need to find the black one. There we go. So this is the one that we just uh, put two armors and weapons in here. So just go to your paint and equip the paint, click save change and equipped. And then reapply this paint again and save change and equipped. I only mess up with paint because sometimes when I do a system, when I try to unequip a system and then put it back on, I found out sometimes the system, the cooler is not putting back on. So I cannot even start the ship, the vehicle. So just mess up with the paint. Now the loadout, the weapon and your armor is saved. But this one does not count because this one is what we we put the armor here. If you put armor here and then you just uh, store the ship, it will spawn whatever your original ship that you put in is. So it does not count. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drive off the pad and I'm going to go back to reclaim this STV. So we will be certain that uh, the armor and the loadout is insured and saved. Okay. Claimed. And that here is your two size one weapons on the side and over here. You can see your real guns are sticking out like this. So you can either choose to grab. Oh, you can't. You can't grab the real gun. You have to drive the vehicle outside the armistice zone in order to grab the real gun. But you can grab the armor and you can see all these uh, ammo. Magazines and grenades, everything's falling out. Yeah, like that. But once you put this core armor on you, and everything will be cleared. So everything will go back to your core armor. And you can see you have the real gun and you have the uh, the P6, whatever weapon you put here. So let's uh, put it back. And again, there we go. Now you can see you have your real gun. You have a F55 and all the ammo and grenades everything that you equipped so just uh put it back here there you go guys so this is it so hopefully this video is helpful and uh, thanks for watching i will see you guys in the next one bye